welcome officially to Boston, uh, Gordon. And I just wonder what the, how you view the expectations when you're also trying to bring so many new people into a team at the same time as seven or eight or nine new guys on the squad. Well, there's definitely going to be high expectations for us. I think that's something that's that's new for me as a player. Um, I'm excited about that. I think uh, for us, we'll talk about it a lot probably today, and then after that it'll just be how can we get better each day? Uh, how can we improve, uh, try to build some of that chemistry? Because like you said, we're, we basically have a new team, mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys with, with new coach, and we got to figure each, each other out. So um, you know, after today I think we should worry about just trying to get better each day and then everything will take care of itself. When you look at the talent that's been assembled, where do you think this team's strengths will be this season? I think we have a lot of playmakers. I think we have a lot of guys that can do different things with the basketball, um, whether that's handling the rock, cutting off the basketball, um, a, lot of, a lot of spacers, a lot of shooters. Mm -hmm. um, so I envision playing with just with a lot of space and, and with an open court. The Kyrie uh, acquisition came relatively late in the summer after you had decided. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard that that was serious and that could happen? Yeah, it, 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 uh, there was so much like drama going on mm -hmm. with the whole thing. Um, you hear it's going to happen, then it might not happen. Yeah, yeah. It's just up in the air. But, you know, when it finally did happen, just excited about it. Um, you know, would have been excited to play with IT. He's a tremendous basketball player. Um, I realize it's a business. These things happen. Um, but, you know, you're getting another superstar in return with Kyrie and uh, the experience he has of going to going to the finals. Um, he's, he's done it all uh, mm -hmm. as a rookie, um, you know, going through the struggles that I think you need to go through to get better as a player. Like I said, playing in the finals, he'll, he'll help me as a player. He'll help, he'll help us as a team. You know, everybody talks about how you've changed since you were with Coach Stevens, but how has he changed since he was with you? Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to find that out probably <laughs> uh, here as we move forward. Um, it's been seven years. I mean, yeah. everyone always connects the dots between us, but it's it's been a while since we've been together. And so I'm um, looking forward to, to playing underneath them again and, and learning from them. And uh, like you said, we, we both have changed. You were on a good team in Utah that was rising. You're now on a team that most people expect will be at least in the Eastern Conference Finals. And I wonder, as a competitive athlete, what that does to someone who is now entering the prime of his career. Um, well, it's exciting for me. Um, you know, I, I have nothing but love for what, what I did in Utah and what we did as a team and, and going from the rebuilding years to then making it to the playoffs again and, you know, winning that first round. But, um, you know, moving forward, just excited about this opportunity, about the potential that we have with this team. Uh, we have a lot of talent, loads of talent, a lot of different guys that can make plays, and um, I'm ready to get it going. It's, it's been a crazy offseason, for <laughs> sure, with lots of drama, but I'm ready to get it going. Is it? I was going to say that uh, even though it's a new uniform, once you grab a basketball, it's basketball, right? That's right. Once you're finally out on the court, for yeah. sure. Um, yeah. It all fades away, and you can kind of do what you love. Well, Gordon, best of luck to you this season, man. Hope thanks. everything goes well for you. All right, thanks. All right, thank you.